Hi, my name is Tavish Khan. I'm an art critic, and today I am interviewing Shulan Wang, a photographer and an artist, and we're going to talk about her work. So, Shulan, do you want to start by telling me a little bit about your work, what kind of work you make? Ah, uh, okay. Well, hello, I'm Shulan Wang, and uh, my most work is black and white, more thing about nature because my focus area is more about uh, thinking about the relationship between humor and the nation. Because for me, I always think about the meaning, what is return. So for me, most of work is from my self-mediation uh, because I try to think about how to balance between the rationality and the some poetry world. So as you can see in my Photography, most of work are about flower and the landscape and some portrait, such kind of thing, blah, 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 and uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, excellent, thank you. And then how did you get started in art? Like, were you making art as a child or did it come later in life? Or when did you start making uh, it? Actually, I think I'm quite late in photography. When I started to master in London, then I realized I'm much more like some visual art. So I changed it from design area to photographer. Ah, excellent. So what were you doing yeah. before you became an artist? Uh, yeah, before photographer, I'm, I'm a designer. Okay. <laughs> Hard designer, yeah. Ah, okay. And, and what, what do you think is the sort of biggest influence of or inspiration for making your artwork and where the ideas come from? Uh, maybe I think for myself, um, I come back with some practice. I think I'm more focused on something in my inner world. So I wanted to describe something. So for me, photographer is a very direct way. I was also learning painting before, but uh, while I get into university, I started design uh design courses so for me photographer combined i mean it between the painting and the design so it will be a good connection for me okay yeah Excellent. and uh when, when we were talking about your photography and your practice like what what draws you to kind of make the, the take the picture that you're looking to take like what is it about it do you just are you just walking along and you see it and you see I want to take that picture or is it is it more planned or more thought through? Um, actually, at the beginning, uh, I just learned it by myself. So of course, I will do more street shots. So that for that for kind of photo, I didn't think anything. It is much more free. And when I decided to start photography, I went to an international photographer school in Paris. Um, I learned how to manage something before. So now I think when I take a photo, I will think more like I will do some like the mood board, such kind of thing and do more research that will be better. Okay. And, and, yeah. looking at, and looking at your work, do you always feel like there has to be something aesthetically beautiful about the things you take or are you happy to be not just drawn to that to show all sides of the world um, actually, maybe it's because I like some point and for me, I hope I could also show something, I mean, capture something like this in my daily life. So it will be a strong visual language for me. Ah, okay, great. Yeah. And if we were to pick, say, do you have like any of your works that you say is like your favorite work or one particular work that you'd like to talk about in detail, what would it be and what would you say about it? Ah, uh, do you mean uh, the photo what I want? Yeah, like a, a favorite photo, yeah. Um, maybe, I, I, I want to introduce all of my photos, <laughs> that's a joke. <laughs> yeah, maybe I will introduce the world the butterfly girl. I, okay. I think you have said that, yeah. And that is my friend. And uh, actually, I use a butterfly, also that is a big butterfly. And uh, she is a poem. She is really like the poem. And I talk with her a lot. 
and she talked about the butterfly story of him. Her, it's real story. He, she said the one night he just traveled back from some country and uh, one night it's cold weather and the one but butterfly just came to uh, her room and stopped her on her shoulder. So they get some strong connection. And after that, I, I think, oh, wow, maybe we can use the butterflies to represent her. And so I take I took that photos and after that some actually for me photographers one kind of thing can discover more connection between people. So after this experience, more interesting thing happened. The girl starts to focus more on about a butterfly. You know, in I, I don't know if you know the story in China, a very old stories. One old man had a dream and dreamed her himself became the butterflies and uh, he just fly away like the clouds very free. So now I think the girl actually um he was very free, but after that I can say he is much free. So I can say sometimes if you're I mean for me, photographer is not my personal work, it's uh, cooperation. It is the work for me and also for the models. So after that, I can say some great changes. So it's quite interesting. Ah, excellent. Yeah. Thank you. And are there any other photographers or wider artists who particularly inspire you or who you, who you look up to? Ah, uh, yeah, I think another photo is about a man. I think I have a man portrait inside with a uh, white rose. And uh, he is my new friend in Paris. Actually, he is a little famous singer. And at that moment, I met him in Paris by accident. And uh, um, he looks super sad and I have a lot of sad stories. And uh, that moment, maybe because of COVID, it is in all the world, it get into sad conditions. So uh, for that photo, I, I, I mean, I get into a very deep condition. I mean, think about more about life. It's just like the says, go back to the ground and, the, and have a new life. I mean, so the photo is, I think I capture some deeper thing of the, that in mind. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. So it's great to talk about the collaboration between you and the models. Yeah. But in terms of sort of other artists, so artists like kind of more famous artists or so on, like other photographers, are there yeah. any whose work that you really admire and you look up to or? Yeah, I think my at the beginning my favorite photographer is a Japanese photographer. He named the hero Sujimoto. Mm -hmm. Maybe you yeah. know him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's yeah. famous for the ocean, and uh, he cared about the history and the time space. And uh, he, I think he has a really very huge perspective to the world. Mm -hmm. So he, I think he inspired me a lot about yeah. some question to what is the eternal thing and what is a contemporary life yeah mm. and i mean i'd be interested to know whether you think this is the case yourself but i also when i see your work i think of uh daido moriyama as well i don't know whether you've seen his, his street photography and whether that's something uh, that yeah. you've been drawn to yeah <laughs> Yeah, okay, excellent. That's great. Um, and now so sort of a bit more sort of a few more sort of playful questions. So, um, you know, uh, a wider about being an artist. So in your in your mind, what's what's the best thing about being an artist? Or... Okay, I think the best thing firstly is to be the poorest girl, I think. Yeah, <laughs> yeah definitely. Yeah, so yeah. that's me. Maybe I will have more space, more time to think about myself, think about the creation thing. So now, yeah, come by my friends. They, they do more commercials. That means they have a stable work for me. Um, although, I mean, I get myself into a not stable 
conditions. But for myself, it's I feel very satisfied. Mm, yeah, mm. I think for everybody, for on ourselves, it's uh, it's the best thing. Excellent. Yeah, that's mean you will have more perspective to the world. Mm. And is, and is there something that you would say is the worst thing about being an artist? <laughs> I think both. Yeah. What would that be? Sorry. I mean, I mean, to be artist is is I mean, it's a very enjoyable thing, and also a little suffering, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, fair enough. Yes. Um, um, and if um, for those people who would look to make a living out of art, especially from someone like you who came to it quite late in life, what is the yeah. most important piece of advice that you would give them? Uh, yeah, for me, actually, I, it doesn't matter how old are you to start new things, because every time you get into a new area, you will find some new life in your world so everything will be new so it's okay ah brilliant that's yeah. very affirming and <laughs> um and if we were to say well oh, this is a big question what is the most important thing to know about you ah it's really a big question mm. i don't know what, what which area you want to know it's up to you. It could be about your personal life. It could be about your art life. It could be about your history. Okay, I, think, I think the most important thing is my name is Shula. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, um, so, so what's the, what's the most um, interesting thing that you're working on right now? Okay. Uh, now I'm starting a new photography school in Berlin, and uh, I. And I'm starting a new area because I now um, I want to learn more traditional technique in photography and the more artistic, I mean, the modern perspective in creation. So that will be much fun because in Paris, I learned some basic technique uh, and some commercial way in photographer. Yeah. OK. And, and what school are you studying at in Berlin? A uh, new photographer school of Berlin. Yeah. Ah, excellent. Thank you. And um, if we finish with a sort of slightly more playful question, um, uh, please tell us one unexpected thing about yourself that people may not know. Um. <laughs> actually, I, can you give me some uh, tips? <laughs> Uh, anything that would surprise people if they knew about you? Like, do you have like, is there like a job that you've done in the past or is there okay, um, people, uh, countries that you've lived in or anything that would surprise people? I do mean how people think about me. Yeah, yeah if they would. Yeah. <laughs> or may maybe we can talk about the fact that you um, obviously have lived in several countries now. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe they were think um, can't or friendly or calm like this. Actually, sometimes I'm a little shy. <laughs> okay, no, that's yeah. great. And do you want to quickly talk about sort of so your um, upbringing? So where 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 were you born? Which countries have you lived in? And uh, now to get to Berlin. Yeah, it's a very as for me, it's a very important question. Yeah, mm. I I was born in China, Hangzhou. It is a very nature city actually, and uh, my city is uh. Is surrounded by the lakes, mountains. So for me, I live in, I mean, I live with a very natural environment. I think it, this gives me a lot of basic um, artistic direction. So I think, so you can see in my creation, my masterwork is a little come by some Western culture and the more is about Asian side, yeah. Yeah, and, and what was it that made you decide to move from China to firstly to London? Oh well, it's it's my parents' valley. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and for me, it's just traveling. But what I realized, I was more interested in art area, so I start another master courses. Ah, excellent. Yeah, that is a big change for me. 
Yeah, and what made you want to change from London then to Paris? Uh, yeah, you, you know, I never, that moment, I never say other countries. Um, I was born in China and I stay in China all the time. Well, I want to learn a lot of new things, get into my ears. So for me, I, I'm, I think I'm more interested in to look at other different kind of thing. And uh, between this period, I found the most thing. I mean, everybody cares something is totally different from others. So for me, I'm in the way to explore myself and explore the world. And uh, interior design is quite a cool job, but it's more practice. It is a kind of service for others. And uh, maybe I'm um, I think every artist, maybe they are all very selfish. They will more care about themselves and they want to show something to the world. So mm. for me, I want to find more meaning for things for myself. Yeah. Ah, so, you <laughs> moved, so then from London, you went to Paris and from Paris to Berlin. So when you're finished <laughs> in Berlin, will you keep moving? Your plan to keep moving around Europe? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, because I, I, I mean, I always wanted to try the new things and uh, yeah, Paris is a good city and it's just like, I feel I, I need to learn new things. Mm. And uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, excellent. Well, thank you, Shula. That was really inspir inspiring to learn about your practice and your beautiful black and white photography. And I'm sure people can check you out on, uh, do you have a link to your Instagram? What's the handle for your Instagram or your website? Yeah, 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 I have it. Uh, can you um, say it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, my Instagram is Shulam Black and White. Black and White, excellent. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. people can check out the work there. Uh, so thank you very much. And I uh, will speak again soon. Yeah, thank you.